Hello everyone, my name is Jessie and welcome to Plot Twists. So today I'm going to be doing my April TBR of Possibilities. I have four books to talk about, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. The first book that I want to mention is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive. I started reading this last October as part of the Cosmere Crab Along, which is a year-long read-along where we read all of Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere works. Um, but I think by this point, as you can see with how big this book is, I think I had just kind of burned myself out on high fantasy. So I took a break and I'm ready to restart reading through the Stormlight Archives again. Um, this is the second book in this high fantasy series that, uh, honestly, I think to have a summary to do justice, um, you should probably just go Google one. Um, but this has a lot of political intrigue, a lot of um, different perspectives, and I'm really excited to see where this book goes and where the series ends up. The next book that I wanted to talk about is Unbirthday by Liz Braswell. This is the last book that is out right now in the Disney Twisted Tales series that I haven't read. Once I finish this one in April, I will have read the entire series. The concept behind this one is what if Wonderland was in peril and Alice was very, very late. First of all, I love the cover of this book. All of the little accents with the Cheshire Cat smile, the Queen of Hearts. Um, and I think this is going to be a really interesting concept. Um, I'm not exactly sure where this story is going to go, how it's going to relate, but... Um, it should be really interesting. It's also one of the bigger Twisted Tales books, so definitely a lot of room for some really interesting development. The next book that I wanted to mention is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Um, I feel like everybody has raved about how good this is. Um, and deciding that I'm going to read a high fantasy Brandon Sanderson book, I knew that I wanted to have some lighter options uh, available this month, so I definitely included this one. Um, as you can probably tell, this is a romance between two scientists. Um, and I've heard somewhat mixed feelings on this, but I think that's pretty true of any book that gets this much hype. Um, so I'm interested to see kind of sort of where I will fall on that spectrum. Um, to give you a summary, I'm just going to read kind of sort of the front panel, um, as a third year PhD candidate, Olive Smith doesn't believe in lasting romantic relationships, but her best friend does and that's what got her into the situation. Convincing on that Olive is dating and well on her way to happily ever after was going to take more than wavy hand Jedi mind tricks. Scientists require proof. So like any self-respecting biologist, Olive panics and kisses the first man she sees. That man is none other than Adam Carlson, a young hotshot professor and well-known ass which is why Olive is positively floored when Stanford's reigning lab tyrant agrees to keep her charade a secret and be her fake boyfriend. When a big science conference goes haywire, putting Olive's career on the Bunsen burner, Adam surprises her again with his unyielding support and even more unyielding six-pack abs. Suddenly, their little experiment feels dangerously close to combustion, and Olive discovers that the only thing more complicated than a hypothesis on love is putting her own heart under the microscope. I love the number of science-related quips that was involved in that summary, and I cannot wait to read this book. And the last one that I put on here is The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. From my understanding, this is a book about a seemingly perfect couple that ends up in couples counseling because um, the wife has an affair um, and as kind of a last ditch effort, they go to this therapist hoping that they can kind of repair their relationship. Um, this I think is going to be really interesting um, just to see the dichotomy between the, the couple that seems perfect and the actual problems underneath. I also love books that have um, therapy as a trope, so I have high hopes that this will be really, really enjoyable. 
All right, guys, so those are all of the books on my April TBR of possibilities. Um, as always, about halfway through the month, if I'm having a pretty good reading month, I might include some um, alternate possibilities for the rest of the month if I've read quite a few of these or if I'm just not feeling them. Um, thank you guys for watching. I try to post videos um, every five days, but at least once a week. Um, as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon down below for notifications. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.